Hi, I'm Rudy Maxa. Join me in restaurant tour Daisuke Utagawa as we journey to the lush island of Kyushu in search of bonito, beef, buri, and the hardworking people who produce the region's specialties. Magato. This is a great example of simple complexity. This is called dashi, and this is the bedrock of Japanese cuisine. Now, it's made from only two ingredients, kombu, which is seaweed, and katsuobushi, the dry bonito. Oh, that's a lot of taste for a couple of leaves and a piece of fish. Konnichiwa, Shizuka-san. Domo. Osewa narimasu. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. The fish arrive at the katsuobushi factory. They are cut up by hand very precisely using a curved knife to capture all the flesh. Then the fish is boiled for two hours. So what do we got going on here? Well, they're deboning here. Uh -huh. And if it's not done right, when they start dry, they can twist. And so if there's a, even a single bone left after this process, it's ruined. Next, they are smoked gently for two to three weeks over fire from cherry wood and oak from the mountains. Now, what is this gentleman doing here with this? Well, he's filling in the cracks with the paste of bonito. It's a very important process. Apparently, there's not that many people who can do this. After another drying, workers sand the fish into an oblong shape. The last step is to dry and then age it to extract more moisture. Aha, uh -huh, there you go. Arigato. Look at that. All right, this is the bonito that I know. Oh, I can smell it from here. What makes Wagyu special? Well, Wagyu is known for its naturally marbled meat. The lineage is important. You should be able to trace back at least three generations. Well, this is quite an operation. Yeah, well, just like everything else, raising Wagyu in Japan, there's a lot of great care and attention that goes into it. I mean, the water is coming from the nearby stream, the feed is top secret, and creating this environment, there's a lot of effort. Miyagi-san tells me that they're cared for like they're members of his family. Here in Kagoshima, this is the way to eat beef. Simple teppanyaki style, but when done right, it's gonna melt in your mouth. This is without a doubt the best beef I've had in my life. At Kagoshima Bay, another unsung hero of Japanese cuisine is harvesting fish at his buri farm. Kyushu is really well known for a fish called buri. It's called yellowtail or, or amberjack in the States. All right. It is tying on the feedback time. Uh, Look at that, they are so fast. Woo! Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Whoa. So how good is Mr. Kobayashi's booty? Mm. Delicious. Fantastic, right? It is the filet mignon of fish. It's unbelievably good. Yeah.